very sophisticated. Yes. <laughs> Are we live? Yeah. Okay. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our session on infections. Um, I'd like to introduce uh, our first speaker for the panel, Roxana Rodriguez, who will be presenting her paper, Auto Co Immunity Ecological Thought of Mourning. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, hello. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here in this virtual scenario. Uh, I want to thank Nicole and the organizers for letting me change in the last minute the title of the presentation of the program. I don't know if you are looking the presentation because I, I am not. So uh, I decided to change the presentation. When I was doing the PowerPoint, I thought a lot of, about the pertinence of do it or not. Finally, I decided I will feel more comfortable presenting what I am researching right now, our co-immunity, ecological thought of mourning. Next slide, please. Something that has been already published as a chapter title, Beyond Borders, Our Immune Practices in a State of Law, Anaporia, at the book, this book, Debating and Defining Borders, Philosophical and Theoretical Perspectives. For that text, I use the metaphor of the triple suicide for three events. First one, biopolitics as a symbolic and strategic double suicide. Second one, the state of law failure as trauma. And the third one, the sovereign exception as the vicious cycle of repression. To deconstruct the euphemistical policies of certain autoimmune practices at the frontier zones, which avoid in the name of sovereignty, human mobility between two or more countries in the European Union. Next slide, please. Then I stepped back in this category to locate the transition among auto-immunity and auto-immune because I was trying to defer the meaning in community and immune to do the labor of mourning by the hand of Jean-Luc Nancy book, The Disabowed Community. In that sense, munus, the Latin term that community and immune share is the aporia of the labor of mourning because without the event that interrupts my vulnerability, my absolute immunity, is impossible as the possibility of the deconstruction to name the death. Quoting the Rida, the formalization of this autoimmune law was there carried out around the community as autoimmunity as well as the autoimmunity of humanity and particularly the autoimmune humanitarian. End of the quote. Ne next slide, please. For the time when I sent the proposal for the 2020 version of this Congress, several circumstances have changed. Besides the global confinement, the pandemic, the war, and all the situations that circumscribe those phenomena, in 2019, a day after I sent the chapter I mentioned to the editors, my younger brother was killed in Oaxaca, Mexico. That major event following the Rida represent a turning point in my life. Next slide, please. That means that the last three years, I have been dedicated in doing my morning labor, again, following the rhythm, which implies that my research interest changed abruptly since that year, and I started studying other limits, borders, or frontiers. I dedicated more than two decades to perform critical border studies, comparing several frontier zones in different continents, Europe, uh, America, Middle East, Asia, 
But after 2019, I decided that I have nothing else to say about a phenomena that I still think is a very juicy business for many people, institutions, countries, and unfortunately, less important are the persons that have died at any border, any border. Not mattering if the border is a sea, Mediterranean Sea, a coast, Greek or Spain coast, or a wall between two or more countries, Mexico, United States, or Israel, Palestine. Next slide, please. As I do, as I do since I started reading the Rida in 2002, I went back to his text when my brother was killed. I started thinking in first place about the impossibility of forgiveness, then in the difference between law and justice, Obviously, in the, in the ontology of the dead, the aporia of the dead, and specifically in the category of mourning and in the labor of mourning. The next, please. In these three years, the confinement also helped me to do a simultaneous labor, teaching and mourns. So I was able to deconstruct several categories in which I was thinking and which circumscribes the homicide of a brother. In some courses of ontology that I dictated in last few years, I back, I back up several times to this text that I love. Rams, uninterrupted dialogue between two infinitives, the poem. The verse of Celan felt very different each time. The belt is forth. Ich muss dich tragen. The world has gone, I have to take you. Because this verse translates the significance not only about the loss, but also the event to come. Next slide, please. At the same time, I started thinking in Spinoza by Derrida's hand, especially in the glossary of the affects that we can find at the ethics in the conatus. And I began to contrast them with the Freudian pulsion of death. So I decided to start a new research field named Ecology of Affect. I recover in first place an ecological thought since Aboaventura de Sousa Santos category, Ecology of Knowledge, which opposes to the monoculture of knowledge and scientific rigor deconstructing a more common use of human capital or economy of knowledge. In that sense, following Timothy Morton, and I quote, ecology is the name of the thinking that reveals more and more of these push-pull scenarios, these bearings, end of the quote. Next slide, please. In this ecology of affect, I propose the deconstruction of several categories, mourning, our immune, death, hospitality, plasticity, community, friendship, pharmacon, animality, fictional philosophy. Most of them, um, I use it for my previous research about critical border studies, like our immune, hospitality, community, pharmacon, and I start um, this fictional philosophy as a, a way of right, a creative right, that I am trying to do also with this ecology of affect. The next, please. After these three years, I can conclude that the labor of mourning is also the ecology of affect. It is friendship, it is responsibility, it is freedom, it is ethics, it is care. It is making a community beyond borders of the one who is already dead, the death of each one. It is embracing the earth in which we will we bury our dead, give thanks, welcome those who are now only in memory, and those who will join in the other labor of mourning that it is to come. 
embrace the event of death with unconditional hospitality, receive what death give us, for we give to death. Uh, thank you, thank you for your time. that um, really, uh, I don't know, touching paper. Uh, Roxana, um, we have plenty of time for questions now, um, uh, which we can draw either from those online or, or in, in the room. Should it, for those posing questions in the room, should uh, they go over to the... No, 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 no. no. That's, that's fine. We've, we've got a, a room camera available now, so uh, just one of that actually have any online at this particular point in time. But, um, Michael? Uh, so thank you. This was really interesting. I look forward to seeing where it branches out. I was curious about um, the, the affect that you're talking about and you're trying to relate to. Um, you say, well, look, oh, can you hear me? No, not, 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 so, not so well. There's a microphone here. Yeah. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes, better. Thank you. So I'll make my question uh, more direct so that maybe there's less tech issues. I was curious about the relationship between Spinoza's Penatus mm. and the work of mourning that you've established. Mm. It's that in the Spectres of Marx or elsewhere, Derrida might suppose that we should bury the other before ourselves. But the Penatus would seem to suggest the priority of the self. Mm -hmm. How do you reconcile the two? I, I use Spinoza like a vitalist, so in this uh, labor of mourning, I think we can uh, back to Spinoza affect in that in that sense, uh, not thinking in the death only as the loss of 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 a brother or something else, something someone else. Uh, but but the but ourselves in the in the in the way that we are still uh, living. I don't know if it's more or less clear. <laughs> uh, would you mind saying a little bit more about what does it mean to live? Then you mentioned in the systems of like the things that you were deconstructing. You mentioned the process where it began with. For example, forgiveness or the impossibility of forgiveness. Okay, okay, okay. And then on the way to the work of mourning, you have the ontology of death. Yes, 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 yes. Well, uh, uh, ontology, ontology of death. I, 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 I obviously thinking in this text the uh, Um This, this, this. Uh, I don't know kind of dialogue that Derrida uh, did with Heidegger about the death of the of the bin um, of the yes, of the bin. And the the, fir the the first thought when I uh, knew that my brother was killed was uh, this 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 other impossibility of forgiveness that the uh, refers in several texts. So I started uh, deconstructing the impossibility. What's the impossibility at the deconstruction? And without the impossibility, we, we can think or. or we can think uh, in the construction. So I'm still thinking this impossibility of forgiveness because it's very hard when, when some someone killed your brother. So I think it's, this is the first step for doing these labor mornings, or or was my first step uh, start uh, starting this labor morning. I think this is like a not that a reconciliance with the other person. But that reconciliance with our death, the, uh, our death and the death of my brother. So that's why I started uh, doing this deconstruct uh, impossibility of forgiveness. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I, I, I well, um, I have. Uh, can you hear me, Rock? Yes, Rock yes, 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 yes. Um, I was wondering, are you familiar with the um, Canadian poet Anne Carson? Um, uh, yes, 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 yes. So, uh, have you, uh, and do, do you know, uh, yes. I think it's, I don't know exactly when she published it, but her work, Knox? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, I guess 
I mean, it's also written um, at the loss of her brother. Um, yes. And it's a work of mourning that engages with the loss by way of an act, a literal act of translation, right? She's developing a lexicon for, for this poem um, yes. that she's translating and using as a, uh, a cipher to sort of access this impossible event for her, right? On some yes. level, I think, um, so I was just, uh, you know, it's more just um, an association uh, yes. and, 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 and curious if that, um, if that work has at all been uh, influential for you. Yes, yes, sure, thank you, yes. Uh, that's the, 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 the other, um... The other part of maybe the labor of morning read uh, literature. So I start reading uh, uh, John John Bidon John uh, Didion. 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 Yeah, sorry John John Didion, and then uh, a friend of mine recommend me this Knox uh, text about Anne Carson. So I have both, and I and I and I read both of an, another literature text that I that 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 are like this autofictional uh, writing or, or this fictional philosophy that I am working right now uh, with this kind of autobiographic uh, referring. And I think the, uh, the deconstruction is very close with this autofictional or fictional uh, writing. So yes, sure, I, I, I it was, Besides the Rida, it was very useful Didon and no and this text of Carson. It, I think uh, in in I think that there start uh, the labor of mourning, reading okay. others, uh, thinking about what happened, uh, rethinking about our our relation with the other with the other that is not more here. Uh, so yes, I think. It's not like a, the um, ABC of mm. what we should do when somebody is killed, but that helped uh, very much for me, reading literature about that another uh, uh, people that have uh, this, this, this sense, this, this loss. And the Rida, also the Rida is like a, a, I don't know, I don't know how to say that. The Rida for me is all is always like a safe place to 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 back every time. Thank you. Thank you. I think we can move to our second speaker. Now, um, should we? Will that be Paolo? Oh, I'm sorry, Paolo. Uh, Nicola. Okay, uh, Nicola is joined as he's uh, viewing at the moment, but you'll actually need to uh, go to the schedule and join the backstage.